Hello, my name is Ari David, and this is Destined for Failure, a Twitch stream where I play Destiny badly. Um, I'm going to start off this stream the way I'm starting off every stream this month, by wishing a happy pride to all my viewers, friends, and family who are members of the LGBTQIA community. I'm serious. If I'm, I, I think that's the current acronym. If I got it wrong, someone please correct me. Um, but seriously, happy pride. Um, you're here. You're queer. I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. In fact, I think it's great. Um, so, yay. Um, I've been playing a bunch of Mass Effect, like, a lot, because I got the Legendary Edition, which is great. Um, I haven't been streaming Destiny as much, but that doesn't mean I haven't been playing it. Uh, I have. Uh, Season of the Splicer is phenomenal. The only thing that bothers me is the leader of my faction, uh, which is, like, a political party in Destiny as opposed to, like, a class. The Future War Cult, uh, is Lakshmi 2, uh, voiced by Shora Agda... Uh, I can't pronounce her last name. I'm not, I'm not gonna butcher her last name. She's a very talented actor. She's in the Expanse. She's um, Avasarala, the badass UN gener general secretary. I think is her official title um, in the Expanse, and she's in a bajillion other things. Um, she's kind of racist, and it's like not cool. And we're basically it. it it's very uncomfortable for me uh as a jewish person because there's been a lot of political stuff going on in israel and i hate it um and we've been the the guardians are now housing refugees and there's a big argument like why are we giving these these people who've tried to kill us refuge why are we trying to help them and it's all coming from lakshmi um and saint 14 same 14 but he he fought them for a long time so he has he has reason to feel that what i'm just making sure my pin see it's a pin i got a pin you won't even be able to see it when i'm playing um and i would wear it on my shirt but i'm so skinny that like the pin spins around so it stays on my sweater but there's my there's my pin supporting um so regardless really cool season going on uh lots of really great stuff i've been playing mass effect and apparently, yesterday at Weekly Reset, um, and I forgot, honestly, that it was Tuesday yesterday because time's a flat circle. And we had, uh, in America, we had a three-day holiday, Memorial Day weekend. Um, I know I have some international viewers, so um, we did that. And, uh, you know, it threw off my schedule. So I played De uh, Mass Effect and was off the internet and then I, I scanned my phone this morning and everyone had lost their mother loving minds i mean everyone every major person my clan was talking about stuff on our discord um and i i quickly looked away so I, i'm spoiler free i have absolutely no idea what's happening but apparently there is some tremendous cutscene. That is uh, apparently one of the best story things to happen in Destiny in a long time. It feels overhyped, and I'm cautious. But um, I want to check it out. Um, in addition to playing and wanting to check this out, and, and having been playing Destiny uh, 2 but not streaming it, uh, my clan did, we did the Vault of Glass, um, which was the new old raid. Um, basically they, they retooled and brought back the first raid from Destiny 1 and, uh, gave it to us in Destiny 2 and we didn't do day one. We wanted to, but we couldn't. Um, this did, however, give Pat time to Pat of Halo fame. Um, he's, he's, uh, part of our clan and, um... He made a uh, he made like maps with our names on it for every encounter, like a football coach. It was crazy. Um, Atheon tripped us up. Um, 
but we did it. We beat it. Um, and I'll, I'll show you my raid gear. And, and but let's log in and see. I I haven't logged in because sometimes when you log in, stuff just happens. So, I wanted to be ready. Um, hello, people out in internet land. Let's let's get to destiny, and I'll play through this a bunch, and we'll see how long I play destiny. But uh, I still have the itch for Mass Effect, so I may hop over to Mass Effect. Um, we'll get to that when we come to it, but I'll probably restart the stream real, real quick. It's just for archiving reasons. But let's go. Let's play. Let's play Destiny right now. Cutscene. Oh, hey! I beat the raid. Congratulations on completing the Vault of Glass raid. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I don't really want the jacket, but thank you. But yeah, I've got, this is some of the raid armor. The helmet's cool. I'm probably going to turn it into an ornament. But that's from the Vault of Glass raid. Um, I got three pieces of the armor because I got duplicates of the gloves. You can get five, like, drops. And I got the boots. No, I, did I get the boots? What are these? No, these are just Thorium Hope boots. What did I get? I got the chest. And uh, they all look great. And I got the... Uh, I got a roll of the rocket launcher. It's okay. Um, I mostly have it on me right now. I mostly have all this stuff on me right now because it's my, my highest rated gear. Um, is there anything that isn't... So why am I... What even are you? leave let's pop some stuff real quick I mean as quick as I can with a cooldown oh I logged in let me make sure that like all my my bounties before they reset These are like the bounties that I already had in me that, uh, the problem is you have to log in for your bounties to expire and fall out of your, um, inventory. So I had to log in and then do that. In like a half hour, there's going to be more bounties because we'll have the daily reset, which is cool. So plenty of chances for experience points. Ooh, unclaimed seasonal challenges. What did I do? collect ether oh this is week four this is this week so as you can see i did all of week one and then i just i didn't iron banner was a mess the first run around so i didn't touch iron banner um yeah i did path of the splicer i did not do the labyrinth in 10 minutes or less um, i did it in about a half hour Cool. How close am I? Ugh, so close. Uh, they all wanted me to have breach and clear for the raid, and I couldn't have it. And so I was just sitting there going, I'm sorry, masters. Um, do I have any triumphs buttons to press? Can I make numbers go higher? This is the uh, emblem from the raid, which I got. It's pretty cool. Um, but I like my kitty cat one. They moved. They moved it. But yeah, I can. It looks good. It looks good though. It's solid. That's a good. That's a good emblem. But I love my kitty cat one. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh yes. I would very, very much thank you, muchly. How much do I have on me? Not enough. Womp, womp, womp. Um, okay. Summon the director. Talk to the splicer servitor in, in Helm. So I gotta go to Helm. probably where all the stuff's gonna happen here we go they introduced like this crazy mission timed mission called the labyrinth which was not 
uh, like a regular seasonal activity. It was just like this. I have no clue what its larger purpose is going to be, but it's. They're doing a lot of very interesting, interesting things. Do I have the volume up enough? I, I like mess with the sound settings. Yeah, see. Vanguard warlocks aren't anything like a Now, warlocks. that should be better. Wasn't um, I had everything lowered because I was raiding. garbage I mean technically not but get garbage okay let us oh the best thing they did is they finally made all cosmetic swapping costless it, it doesn't cost anything to change shaders, to change uh, the ornaments. To it's good. They they basically <laughs> four or five years into Destiny uh, two, they brought it back to how shaders were supposed to work and did work in Destiny one. Thank you, Activision, for changing that. Um, shaders are so much better now. The cosmetic aspect of Destiny this season. Woo! Good stuff. The path leads you to me once more, Guardian. This endless night presses down on us all. I hear the city groan with the strain. The dark brings sickness now. Few can find sleep. The people hear of your triumphs against the Vets, but they see only dark skies above. They are being bent, and some may break. I will aid if I can. I will not be proud, but let the citizens see that we are suffering with them. I have faith they will see us for who we are. The light always shines through in the end. But for now, the work must begin again. Go. Mithrax is the best. He's basically like the Martin Luther King of the Fallen. He's got a little Malcolm X in him. He likes fucking shit up. <laughs> But he, but he fully believes that humans and fallen Elixni can live together. And I agree with him. They're the most sympathetic villains. Uh, and they're not really villains. They're antagonists. Some of them are villains. But uh, they're mostly just spurned and desperate and jealous. And they're very sad. Um, so the Endless Night is getting worse, Mithrax says. He can hear the city groaning under the strain. The Elixni and the House of Light are suffering alongside him. He has faith that your progress as a splicer will collapse vex simulations, but he says the night muffles even the impact of your victories. The people hear of your triumphs against the vex, but they see only dark skies above. They are being bent, and some may break. I did charge it. Ba bam. What's next? I don't have enough to include increase anything yet. Uh, play override. Yay! Okay. Ooh, I can make one more. Can I make one more? I made one more. That's a full splicer gauntlet. Um... Oh, yeah, here's our message. Okay, the weekly... People of the last city. Here she is. The Vanguard protects us from enemies outside our walls. 
But did you know they also protect us from information? Did you know that the fallen unleashed the vex on Europa? That they corrupt our guardians with the That's poison like gift really true. of stasis, tempting them to build the darkness. That part is true. These same fallen are now inside our city. That is not true. Different at the house. The of the vanguard. Icarabe knows all this and more. Her hidden spies report as much. Yet she continues to support these false alliances over her own people. Whether her lies are born of malice or incompetence matters not. What matters is that I have gazed into the future and foreseen bodies in our streets. Make no mistake, an invasion is coming. And if we are to triumph, we must first take back our city. From those damn dirty foreigners. Um, so interesting thing, she, uh, she, the future war cult's all about like using Vex technology to help predict future battles so that they can see what's gonna happen before it happens. Uh, Lakshmi's making these claims, but if you read the lore um, entries, there is actually a huge rift in the future war cult right now, and a lot of members are leaving or opposing her because she's. they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? These are not the same Fallen. She's seeing things way too black and white. Um, Aramis's house is not this house. This, These are Mithrax's people. You gotta think of them as like separate it's god it's like saying every palestinian's a terrorist i hate making it about that because it's uncomfortable for me as a jewish person to talk about because i oh god it's just awful and um but it's the same thing and so she's doing that and that sucks whoa hello Anything here? Just last season stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so we're in like the simulated nighttime, which is pretty terrible. So we've got to uh, open a complex chest and do override. Easy peasy Japanesey. I shouldn't say that. Um, I don't know why, but that that felt wrong. Sorry. I love. Women that say, I love you, man. Flying units do increase damage. When defeated, Scions spawn void grenades at their feet. Anti-barrier and overload. Uh, Lakshmi 2, the head of the future war cult. And also, uh, same 14. He's being pretty shitty also. Um... Ugh, I'm getting out of a... Okay, they had me running Warmind for the raid, and I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Um, so instead, we're gonna... We're gonna have a little fun here. And we are gonna go do my Necrotic Grip build, because I like poisoning people um yes i am lacking the ascended shards so i don't know why i just changed all that i'm just big old dumb dumb but who cares um so like yeah this season we are uh oh, what is it usually dag nabbit Saint-14 has PTSD. That's the problem with Saint-14 right now, is that he, um... He's hurting. He's just hurting. And it's understandable. I would say this game has been doing, um... 
really, really good things with uh, actually addressing mental health stuff. All of Shadowkeep, last year's expansion pack, was dealing with that. I sure hope so. I'm sorry you have so much trouble viewing it. That really stinks uh, a lot. Taking charge is what I usually put on here. I'm just trying to rebuild my old. Let's do hand cannon reserves. So I can do maximum poisonage. What is this? Aim. No, I want hand cannon aim. Give me that. Give me that hand. Oh, you. Give me that fucking hand cannon aim. And then I'll, I'll take. Yeah. But also, hello Avery. I don't know when you tuned in, but I already wished a happy pride, and I'll say it again. Happy pride. We we are we're a pro pride. This is we're a prideful place. That might be good. However, gain an extra stack of charge with light with every stack I gain. As you should. Rightly so. Good. Have fun. Live your best life. Charged up might be good. Oh. No. I would like one additional stack, please. That was good to me. Seems more useful. Okay, so where am I at stat wise? 96. I need more recovery. A trace rifle. A trace rifle is here. They are only exotics, and they're basically like focused fire laser beams. So instead of like shooting little bursts of laser, you hold down the button and it's just a beam that shoots and keeps shooting. Um, they're very cool. Um, it, in fact, they're, they're so cool that they're only exotics. Um, and right now, this is my favorite one, Ruinous Effigy. Um, there's a lot of good ones, though. They're all pretty good. Um, probably not Wavelength, just because... It became it fell out of favor once ruinous effigy became a thing. But here's Prometheus Lens, that's another trace rifle that's popular. I needed that for the raid. That's why that's on me, uh, right now. Yeah. 
Um, I would definitely say so, Avery. Um, Halo was the testing grounds. Like, a lot of the weapons here are evolutions of weapons from Halo. Just making sure... I got all the stuff that I like. I want to... So I'm, I'm all about melee on this one. Um... Reloads your stowed weapons and grants temporary boost weapon. Great. Great. Your melee energy recharges faster when you're... Great. That increases my melee, but is there anything else? Increases the melee energy gained from picking up stasis shards. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's the wrong one. Grant small amount of overshield. I mean, that's cool, but... Minus 10 recovery. I don't like that, but... I do think that I would probably... Let's see how that works. Let's see how that works. I did take some hits to my stats, though. So now... I'm melee focused anyways, um, which means I should switch. That means that's terrible. Um, excuse me one moment. Ari's brain wasn't working right. I have... Fuck all this other shit. Yes, I am. Well, actually, I think I'll leave you on recovery for now. I'm so not usually built for melee. Oh my god, it's a very satisfying build. Yes. Um... Sixty, sixty. Fuck it. If I fall the highest I can get it is into the seventies, then that's what's happening. I need my melee to recharge as quick as possible. That's not great, but that's not the worst stat spread. Okay. I think we're ready to do this. Mysterio fishbowl helmet. This is my uh mostly my Deep Stone Crypt set. Um, I don't have the Deep Stone Crypt bond, but I turned everything into ornaments. Yes, Cody, let's go. Hello. I like seeing all my peeps. Hello, my peoples. Let's do this. Overrides are fun. They're fun missions. Oh, wow. I popped out. I got a bunch of viewers I didn't notice. I was so busy specking. I like a good I like a good spec. I don't know what that means, but I do. Is it one o'clock yet? Not yet. So what am I missing here? Where I feel like I lost bounties there. There's one I lost. No. Won't let me do it because I'm loading. Bullshit.
So get this, period. I feel like a story's coming. Because I you didn't tell me to get everything. Okay. I'm listening. You had me at I finished ME2. Congratulations. Oh no! No, you can't! Yeah, you gotta be really careful with that stuff in Mass Effect. Oh god! That's the worst. Avery, that is the worst. That's bad. I feel for you. I'm enjoying, honestly, their rebuild of ME1. Um, I just started making some, some headway into it. Um, I got Liara last night. Um, Destroy countermeasures to so I just have, operate. I have Pharos and Novaria, but I'm going to go to the, um, Citadel again first and see what, see if there's any cool stuff going on there before I move on. And then I'll probably also start exploring the other, um, galaxies before I do Pharos. But, um, uh, Avery, that is very understandable about being upset over that. That that would be enough to get me to walk away from a game. Be like, I'm not gonna play you now. I'm... Nope. And I... I, I apologize to people on the uh, Mass Effect streams because they see how paranoid and anal retentive I become with, um... Saving. And uh, after the first few streams of stopping and saving, because I was using controller, because I felt like it, and because I played it on PC with mouse and keyboard, and everyone was like, you should try it with console. It's fun. It is fun, and I'm enjoying it. Um, but there's no quick save button. So I, ha I map one to my keyboard that's really close by, so I don't have to reach very far. And now instead of saving every 10 seconds, I just, I can spam the quick save and, and my anal retentiveness is okay, but I'm still, I'm a, I'm a save monster because you just described my actual nightmare, Avery. In case you want to understand what, what, what's important to Ari, the amazing Ari here. My nightmare is fucking up a save on Mass Effect. Not losing people I love or, you know, becoming destitute. No, 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 no. It's messing up a save. That is the greatest fear in my life. Not true. Yeah, there's supposed to be some crazy shit that goes on this week. Um, if you follow the weekly quest, so we're doing that right now for people who are just tuning in. Um, I don't know anything about what's happening in Destiny, so if you do know what happened, don't you dare spoil it for me, you monsters. Um, because everyone, I just woke up this morning and everyone was like, "Oh my God, Destiny!" Blah 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 blah. Like we did the, we did it. The games, the games, amazing again. Like, it was bad. 
All it took was one cutscene, and everyone went from, this game's dead. Everyone's always like, Destiny's dead. This game's dead. <laughs> it's never died. This game has always been strong. Hey. Good. Alright, my teammate got it. I don't care. I don't have an achievement anymore. Charge, 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 charge. Charge, 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 charge. charge. It's tedious, but from what I remember, and without going into too much details, because I kind of just want to experience it again, it had great mood and did a lot of really good exposition. I understand the desire to skip it, but there's, the, I feel like there's merit to it. Look, time to go down my back hole. Weird, vaguely S and M shit in this, like subjugated minds. A lot of submissive, broken, weird. Maybe I'm reading it. But I'm not. Come on. There was the portal that would have brought me right here. Hi, everybody. I'm so goddamn mad. Yes, I'm doing tally. I'm old. Deal with it. <coughs>
Dead skis. Yeah, the override missions are fun, and the Tron aesthetic is just great. Like but I'm proud of the leader you've become. It's just a shame you failed to heed more conventional wisdom. Such as? Cauterize all Sorry. contact with the darkness, lest you risk infestation. Just because you can't see the shears, Osiris, doesn't mean I'm not pruning dead branches. New Ikora is cool. So Gina Torres left the role, which is unfortunate, but you know, understandable. She's a she's big, she's a big shot, and Bungie probably wanted someone available. Destiny Two may contain flashing. Whoa, what's happening? They're warning that before I go into that mission. What does that mean? We're gonna see some crazy fucking shit everybody on this new expunge mission let's see what cosmetics i got i gotta go shell what's available this week disinterest oh very interest mr friend wants this how much a lot what else is available Don't care. Meh. No. Yeah, I don't care enough. Oh, ho, ho, ho. For my outbreak, though. Yeah, I'm getting that. Outbreak deserves that. So we got we got an expunge mission on the moon so legends by the way this is the new tab where you can play content because vault of glass is on a planet we can't access right now it's on venus so it's actually really cool going back to venus um expunge sticks where was the last expunge mission was it on europa i feel like it was on europa Cosmodrome? I'm just checking. Uh, they cycled it through. Was it the Dreaming City? Nope. Huh. Funny noises. Moon lost sectors today. Don't do the moon ones, they suck. They're the hardest. Anti barrier. to get out of the thorn build unfortunately so we are going to switch to runny boots
Okay, you have exactly 100 there, which means you, I will just make recovery. Charged up powerful friends taking charge shield break. Yeah. This is good. This is a good build. Charged up powerful friends taking charge shield break. I can do fire. Can you do it here? I don't need any of that ammo. Find your shit. Jump you over the wither horde. Keep you, keep you. Um, alright, I, I gotta take a quick bio break. Uh, well, that's the wrong one. Okay, I will be right back. I will be right, right, right back.
And I'm back. Thank you for being patient. Okay. Um, expunge sticks. So expunge, these are like these new... So we did Labyrinth last week. I think they're probably just gonna... I think we're unlocking them and they may cycle through. I'm not sure what these are, but they're timed missions. They are fucking crazy and they're really fun. Um... I want to check a couple of things. I I refilled on the bounties from reset uh, while I was on break. Let's see. In override our expunge. Embry, what is up? Embry's uh, one of our newer regulars. How's it going, bud? Welcome to the stream. You've, uh, I don't know if this is your first, the first time you've tuned in in Destiny. I think I've only seen you on Mass Effect. Just chilling is good. Then I wanted to see this. So, oh wow, we got ways to go. We're ha we're gonna be halfway through this. So there's eight steps to this quest. Bananas. Well, welcome to Destiny. Uh, you picked a good one to hop in on. Supposedly, uh, yesterday was weekly reset, and they dropped a huge like weekly quest cutscene thing and i'm working my way to see that i managed somehow to stay spoiler free um so we're doing that and we're also wishing everybody again a happy pride a happy pride everybody all right let's go do the thing i did all my 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 crap i'm all specs and ready to fight a fight i'm so sorry I didn't change my stasis out of being like all melee all the time, but that's fine. I'll just it's the melee. The melee's good. Alright, so whatever this is, it's on the moon. Do you feel that? Yes, you see the their time. The Ever watchful, ever seeking. We trespass in dimensions not meant for either of us. Yeah, so this isn't a simulation. Like, all the times we've been in, like, the Infinite Garden or Mercury. I don't have that upgrade yet. Inter interesting. Um... Uh, but right now we are literally inside the Vex. This is their, this is their mine. And it's a D&D style death trap. Woo wee! So the goal is to make it through fast. No. Shit can kill you if you're not careful. Hey, is there someone? Last last week it was it was. No, I think I found it. No. Ah! I got eaten. So as you can see, there are these rising and lowering pillars, and one of them... Uh, this is what sucks. One of them uh, will lead me down into whatever the next... Uh, what is this? I didn't do this last time. Hey, I'm running around! Okay, I am timed. So, this is probably not helpful. You no, know, yeah. This is a way to skip the whole thing. Here. That's the problem with this place. So many fucking routes and avenues. Alright. Alright, this is good. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. I like this. All right, cool. We made it to the next part. So 
This Tron shit is my jam. The Vex have enacted a purge sweep of the domain. We should stay ahead of it. Oh my god. Ugh. We should stay out of it or just die. Good job, Guardian. I have no jump left. So basically, this is going to be really hard for me. Ow. Ow. Whoa, but I lived. All right. Oh, fuck. No. Welcome to Destined for Failure, a Twitch stream where I play Destiny badly. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, fucking it all up. This is terrible, but I saw a thing up there. I like the thing up there. I know where I'm trying to go. I don't get bounced. I'm now strong enough that I can... Oh, I got bounced. See, I didn't know where the bouncy things were. Destined for failure. How far back is it boosting me? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, pain. And I'm back again. Further away. Yay! Cause that's how destiny rewards you. Oh god, I died. I can't wait for Pat to watch this. Uh, Pat's uh, my friend, for those of you who are new, and he, we're in a clan together. And sometimes uh, he's on this stream, and we played, uh, we did a stream, it's on YouTube, um, all my old VODs. Um, Alright. I'm without a doubt waiting out the next one of those things. Uh, and he, he likes, he likes quarterbacking me. Oh my god, no! That's the portal I gotta go through. See, this is why I don't complete it in under 10 minutes. Because you have to be good. And I am, how you say, not. Access to the oppressive mind in this domain's core. I have helped to 
as much as I can. We tread uncharted paths. Solve the Pacific bug is up to you and the skills you have been given. Fuck. So there, there is no time limit on this, and I don't know how to do what the, the scores do. Um, I haven't been able to raise my score uh, at all. Yo, where am I going with this, though? I gotta get it all the way over here? Get out of your fucking mind. I need like fight it takes like ah, ah. I hate it. God that that's really not fun. Okay. I have to somehow get I'm on a very short timer and I have to get that little sphere. All the way over to this this fucking douche nugget, like waffle face. Ow. So you can afford to exactly take a hit from one of these. Do it. Where the how the ever flying motherfuck? All right. First off, my health wasn't at full, so let's let my health get back. Cause then I think I can run it. Right order before. Can I throw it? Oh wait, I'm. Oh, you move it over these platforms. I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, so it inches ahead from every single one of those platforms. So now it's it should be closer. At least I thought so. Yes, I'm right. We got shot. Almost. Frustrated, incorporated. Can I throw it? Wait. Nope. Okay. Ow. 
Get my health back. Take. Ow. Oh my god, you need to do more of that baloney pants, nonsense, garbage face bullshit. Um, what am I doing? Oh, three. I got you. I fucking understand. Shut up. I'm cursing at the game, not at you folks. I'm, um, a very grumpy person. This is a cool mission. These missions have been, like, really rad. Bungie has definitely been listening to us. The problem is, is that it, it, you, it, it's not an immediate response to get the things you want addressed. Oh my god, why did I do that? To get the things you want addressed, addressed. Um, it takes, like, two seasons. So, if they recognize a problem, they can't implement it next season. That's not how game design works. Everything takes a really long time, and people need to be patient with that. Um, So, like, they got transmog into the game, finally. They've switched a lot of things that people forget. Armor used to be locked into what element it was. Uh, my god. Back in vanilla D1, there were no... Um, random rolls for weapons. It was one of the big reasons why I quit the game. Like, I was like, alright, I got everything, I guess? Like, what do I do? Um, there's so much that they fixed. get to that jumpy platform ASAP. I expired, but where does it respawn? Yeah. Up. Oh. It's fine. That's good. So yeah, you have to... All right, so that's what those little fucking squares are. Feel better now. Oh my god, I feel worse now. Oh my god, can I hit something? So I did an Arire launcher. I don't care if that was a waste. Alright, so that's one more. Alright, I did two, so do you. Of course, no one from my clan is there to see me do it correctly.
Fucking harpies. Ari wants to live! Plus have anti-barrier on, what the fuck? Oh, you dumb dumb. Better. Best. Now that I know what the fuck I'm doing. This is a bad idea. And go away, but it'll show up here. Yep. Great. So yeah, you build checkpoints. It's not that bad now that you know that those things are checkpoints. Too. That's also very important. Get out of my way. Hurry, yo!
nick of time, baby. I'll show it the power of me. If you're meant by splicer. Me. Lasers, lasers everywhere. Good thing that this thing doesn't have a, uh, it's like a, more like a public event. But you see, it's taking me like a fucking half hour to do this. Why did I do that? Boom to Destin for failure, Twitch stream where I play Destiny badly. Listen, friend, I don't think you're a very nice man. I don't know why I'm starting to talk like an old rabbi, but it seems funny. Oh, let me down with a horde. You broken fucking gun. Me down now. Wither Horde is still the most OP, pointlessly broken gun in the game. As you can see, I beat the boss and I wasn't even paying attention. Talk to Ikora. I like that. You are right. You are unweaving a reality the Vex have forced upon us. The tapestry of their design continues to fray. But this is far from over. Lakshmi is certain that our continued efforts, combined with future war cults technology, can locate the source of the Endless Night. I am aware of the device Lakshmi uses. Does it not worry you? In what way? It is taxing on its user. To have one's consciousness fractured into countless splinters and rejoined again can be harrowing. Something's wrong Lashmi with Lakshmi. Is up to the task. This sort of technology is taboo among the Elixni. Interesting. But perhaps House Light can still offer some assistance. My engineers could improve on the design, make it easier for Lakshmi. Oh, she'll never let that no, happen. No, the, the Black Armory has already provided necessary enhancements for us. Lakshmi will manage, I'm confident. Besides, the less interaction Lakshmi there has you with go. your people at the moment, the better. Yes, perhaps. Or perhaps you are right. Okay, let's go to the tower. So these are really cool missions that are just showing up. Um, as part of the seasonal content. Yeah, I gotta wait for Labyrinth to come around again, I guess. I, I can't find Expunge Labyrinth. I guess it went away at Weekly Reset. This is an interesting looking... What's Tunnel Vision? Reloading after defeating a target greatly increases target... I mean, that's not bad. That's kind of interesting. Whoa, hey, bada bada. Yeah, goodbye. You're better. And I just need to make you arc.
Okay. Why is it... Oh. It costs an upgrade module, and it's just not showing that right now. Okay. I don't have any upgrade modules. I was gonna drop those two weapons off. I'll talk to Ikora. So yeah, we've been stuck in this permanent... The Vex have, like, trapped us. It sucks. All right, new Ikora, take it away. There's been a disturbance, sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield, but this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts, as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances and keep tensions low while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. Oh shit, everybody. That's big. This is some crazy fucking stuff. Ikora reports that someone sabotaged the House of Light camp in the Elixni Quarter. <coughs> so it's a terrorist attack on their on their food stores, basically. She suspects that Lakshmi 2's radio transmissions triggered the unrest. Gee, someone used social media and fomented unexpected violence. That has no correlation to real life whatsoever in American politics. Certainly not recent American politics. January. The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcast, says Zavala doesn't believe it's our place in Tavir. Okay, yep. She sent Safe 14 down, um, and now we gotta join him. Before we do that, I think it's fashion time. We stand behind you. I think it's fashion time, because artistic simplicity said I look like Mysterio. I don't think I'll learn Mysterio, but also I just feel like changing. So turn the helmet on. Cool. Let's go to our appearance customization. What's happening on your I, need reports. I wish there was a way to mask get rid of all. Like, I, I yes. like going to default shader before doing everything. And you can set your armor entirely to one color. But also that yeah we've been uh the color schemes this is how it, it kind of used to be in all honesty um in uh destiny one but it's actually better now um because they have this nice appearance customization tab and there are universal ornaments which didn't exist okay um so this is what i look like with all my current ornaments Without any shaders on, let's let's see what I got. I kind of want to rock my black armory. So, but part of me also wants to start. I don't have. See, I don't like doing. Part
parts of armor sets, and I'm already one piece short types. of my Legacy's Oath. I like, I like converting completed armor sets. Because I'm weird like that. But I really want to turn, um... Where are you, you son of a bitch? Where are you? I want you, you bastard. I appreciate what you're saying, Tyler. Thank you. Yes, we'll speak again tomorrow. Um, I'm looking for the raid helmet. Because it was very cool. The one I just got from Vault of Glass. Definitely won't be any of these expired ones. Blue report on the pyramids. Yes, I would like to review. I feel like it should have the current season on it. Ah! Aha! I'm just being dumb. It's right here. So, I kind of want to turn this helmet into an ornament, just because it's so fucking good, and I feel like I'll use it a lot. Um, but whatever. We'll work with what I got first. Oh, not again. Yes, I would like to. Okay, don't lose it now. The Wraith Shell Hood, the one that makes me look like Sauron, is always a fun choice. Fascinating. Did not anticipate. Black Armory just makes you fucking look tough. Ugh. I always get that wrong. Okay. So first, let's put on the black armory chest piece. Because it's my favorite part. Like, holy crap, you look like a badass, especially with the right shader. That's the black armory legs, but what else do we got? to match. Forbidden Vistas is actually kind of a Black Armory armor set too. And the whole point of this is that you can mix and match. Is that you can mix and match. Oh, I did Intrepid Inquiry. Period and Cartographer looked pretty cool. You have to go up to overview. That's what keeps fucking me up. Cormorant Blade is also a very good armor set. Still, also very cool looking legs that I might leave, but I think there was something about the Forbidden Visage. I just like that. Let's see what the gloves look like. So, regular black armory gloves. Pretty good. I appreciate what you're saying, Tyler. Thank you. Yes. Forbidden Visage gloves. We always make jokes about it, but the end game is fashion. Oh, uh, the cormorant gloves are always just so good looking. Now again, we're just looking at shape. We're not even worrying about color yet. I do like that. I don't know what these wires do. That's 
that's not a bad look. I think we gotta do the black armory gloves. I think that just makes the most sense right now. And then helmet. I mean, that's cool. That's cooler. I do love the cormorant blade helmet. Oh, not again. Stick close to it. Don't watch them trigger half the guardians looking at you over the side. I actually that's pretty fucking cool if I can find the right color scheme. But let's check out the bond next. What's happening on your I need report. Forbidden Visage Bond. Not even a... It's got the Black Armory symbol on it. It, it. it matches the back. Like, that symbol's there. That looks cool. Alright, so we're, it looks like we're mishmashing Forbidden Visage and Annealed Shaper. Um... I'm still... Let's see about the gloves. I'm I'm sold 100% on the chest. I think that's fine. Only it looks quite tough enough. The design doesn't fit on that. What's happening? Cormorant blade was good. I think I, I, I think these wires do. either phenotype plasticity or going back to black armory. And black armory. We'll go back to black armory. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now we do colors. Let's see what looks good, right, people? Probably living in some kind of algae zone. I do report on the pyramids. Yes, I would like to review. So again, the nicest thing they did uh, is that they got rid of all the costs for this. It's just yeah, yeah. it doesn't cost any resources to do this shit. Ooh, seven sisters. Take me away. Yes, that so far is our winner. I would change the bond a little. But everything else looks fucking great. Ooh, Ector Dynamo. That's, I like that one. If anybody has a preference, feel free to chime in. I'm just checking things out. I want to look good for the cutscene that I know I'm going to be in. Envious Touch, the first armor set that really lets me look at that, 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 that cool, textured... Uh, black Armory, baby. You really can't go wrong with Black Armory. Hey. Well, first for us, of course, but... Whoa, buttons are getting pressed. Uh, I am not pressing. What's happening? I need Sorry. Why is my keyboard doing that? Excuse me a moment. Soon, the 
just got so high. Did you all those windows noises? Hey, yo, everyone. I just, uh, have you tried rebooting it? I just did that. So where the fuck were I? What's happening on your Here, alright. This is the last place before everything went terrible. Wild algae. Hey, shiny. Very nice. Vintage timber is a great one. Very dark and ominous. I like that. Um, ooh, Bioloom looks cool. Bioloom looks very cool. Yo, Pop Wave. Oh, ho, ho, ho. go, go, Power Rangers. Neil Pop Wave is a great one. Some of these are just really, really, really good. Oh, you're the first armor set that does the bas basalt toxic right. Mmm, that looks cool. Iron Bone is a, a former favorite of mine. It just looks like your your chrome and leather. It's a very good, it's a very good, very good. This veil is usually what you go to when you want to look as like all pure black as possible. It has a slight purpleness to it. Shadow guilt's good. No, not that instance. So these are all black armory. So these are specifically like from this set, but it's like this is the default shader for the black armory stuff. See, um, good luck. Also a good luck. I wish it had more of a red stripe into that. Uh, cool. Do I show up in War Cult colors? No. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to that right now. Where is it? Did I pass Iridescent Coral? Keep it together, girl. That's one of my favorites. Where, where bees? Where bees it? Okay, wait. Ari wants. Oh. find it if it's one of the things I do. I don't want to say if it's the last thing I do, because I, I honestly don't want that to be the last thing I ever do. Here it is. Cool, but not, yeah, not, not quite. What was, so what was the one that really did it for me? Techno Fusion. Not an extra dynamo. Oh, Seven Sisters. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna do Seven Sisters. Why not? Matches all my other stuff. No 
probably have listened at school more. The game's like, why'd you do that? Guess what? You're getting you're getting mm. faithful seven sisters also. Although that's honestly not as much fun. What is the default for you again? Yes, I would like to review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I was right to just leave Rasmussen clan on you. Did not anticipate this. Or Bugusian Knight, rather. Yeah. What about you? What do you look like at Seven Sisters? Not as much fun. We'll leave you two alone. I need more glimmer. Oh, wait, what is this? Why not? Alright! On a rifle. So that's you. Now we're gonna go. Now we gotta go to you. That's not right. Okay, don't lose it now. That thing looks good to me. What's happening? Let's take a look at our finished product here, Destiny Fashion. The hive are stirring, Guardian. I like it. No, All right, of course. and of course I no. like I like having the helmet off because I like seeing my emo face. You'll probably have listened at school more. All right, let's go to the vault, grab a couple of weapons, and do Walk this fucking mission. Light. Oh, I was gonna change the to something cooler that What's matches better. I need report. Zavala, let's meet soon. That should do it. What's happening on Europa? I need report. That's not bad. Zavala, let's meet soon to discuss our findings. A report on the pyramids. Yes, I would like to review it. Let's see. Zavala lets me soon to discuss our findings. How's that look? Hmm. Great. Oh, it's great. Cool. 
I was feeling I was feeling them like changing up the appearance. So artistics fishbowl head comment was the perfect excuse. I don't need two trace rifles, so let's get rid of Prometheus lens. I got you. I got you. I got you. These are all very good. Anyways, buddy boy. How did you not watch that crucible match? I got life, buddy. Why am I like this? Um, I would rather have you. Just to cover for the war cult. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about nothing. Eh, eh, eh. All good, all good, all good. the last thing I want. What does Ari's heart desire? How did the job go? These shifts are killing me. Sorry, I'll just sit here going, uh... Make a choice. But I care not. Fine. I'll take Trinity School with me for now. But we're going to switch up what I'm using. I don't want to use Witherford right now. I want to use... I really like this the this season's uh, sniper rifle. I mean, uh, auto rifle, rather. Um, Chroma Rush. Very, very fun. Now there's an achievement this week for doing stuff with fusion rifles, I believe. Yeah, I can do that, fine. Um, okay, okay, okay. Fusion Rifle Splicer. An override or expunge. So it doesn't particularly matter right now. Well, whatever, if it doesn't particularly matter right now. Let's, uh, let's stick with what we got, right, folks? Okay. I think we're ready to try this mission out. Thank you, Artistic. It's one of the newer um, shaders, and the reason it's very popular, you can't quite see it right now, but if you look at it here, this shimmers and moves. This is like a moving star field. It's an animated shader. So there are a few of them in the game, and they're very cool. Let me know next time you want to watch um, my favorite. So now I gotta go do this. So let's go see. This is, I think, where are we at in the quest? Six out of eight. So yeah, we're getting pretty close. Whatever the big cutscene is, let's do this. Thank you, Juan. So once I finish this quest, I'm probably gonna wrap up, um, take a break, and then maybe in like an hour or two, I'll play a little Mass Effect. I will have to get off because I'm DMing tonight. But I want to play more Mass Effect. I just really needed to find out what's going on here. Let's find out. 
Saint, Lakshmi, you and Mithrax. What was done? Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us. Why is my camera frozen? As we can remember. Is it frozen for you all? There's nothing I can say that will make it. It looks frozen forget. for me. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of Oh my objects. goodness, it is frozen. You're still fallen. You your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people Sorry, my cameras what now. little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. Oh, you bitch. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside. Where they belong. Ah! Uh. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air, sharp as blades pointed at an enemy, at us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about Monsters. Oh boy, here we go. Once in a city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elexni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, Dragged you screaming into its foul shell. None live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. Amazing. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn. To live alongside our monsters. How about that for some fucking perspective? That was a great cutscene. Holy but Jesus. That was amazing. Learn something. Nothing? You two don't say anything else? That was wild. That was great. Um, I guess my camera got messed up while um, while I was fixing my keyboard because like it looks like I'm out of my chair. Um, 
I wonder if there's anything else here. There was a bunch of like Yeah, see? I believe this is the war strategy humans call poisoning the town well. Luckily, we have enough ether reserves to last until repairs are made. But this is a worrying sign. When Ikora Ray offered us refuge, we assumed she had the authority to do so. But the longer we stay here, the more we wonder if anyone is in charge of this city. Your leaders do not seem to have the loyalty of the people. This instability puts Mizrax Kel in a difficult position. Many in our house were against coming here, but they trusted my father's judgment. Now, his messages of tolerance and forgiveness appear naive. Perhaps this was the attacker's goal. Yeah, unfortunately, the on um, I accidentally unplugged the camera, and the only way to get it restarted is to reboot the stream. So we're just going to finish up, uh, and you'll have to deal with my empty chair for the moment. But we're almost done. This sharing of hatred, as my father would say, is disappointing but not unexpected. Some Elixni believe that guardians prey on us without reason. But as a scribe, I know better. The accusations Lakshmi makes against us are mostly true. Elixni have raided the last city for centuries. They were driven not only by desperation, but by unspoken resentment at the great machine's abandonment. Every Kel since the whirlwind has tried to unify Elixni in opposition to humanity. This warlike mentality has been a weakness. The House of Light tries to unify Elixni with humanity, not against them. And this is how we are received. I'm surprised humans would destroy a representation of the Great Machine. My research with the Awoken suggested that humans revered it as we do. However, my personal observations have not supported that conclusion. I understand the city used to have an official speaker, a sort of cleric who spoke to the Great Machine's will. Mm-hmm. He died. However, human records state that role was abandoned after Dominus Gaul sacked the city. Mm-hmm. To leave the Great Machine without a representative among the people seems heretical. Many Elixni believe that humanity takes the Great Machine's blessings for granted, we totally just do. as we once did. Perhaps they're right. Alright, I think... I think that's everything. But, oh, one more. Many Elixni spend their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer, and my mother is a catch. <laughs> After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixni began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us and a real sky above. That is so sad. Alright. Um, we're the bad guys right now, and that really stinks. That is, like, the worst. Oh my god, Lakshmi, what are you gonna do? This is step seven. Which means we gotta listen to this, and then one more thing's gonna happen. And I'm not... Let's probably go talk to the servitor. But... What else? 
Yeah, I'm digging that look. That's the look, folks. Now you get to look at a black screen and a frozen chair. Okay, there you go. There's something. Yes, I think if my camera gets disconnected while the stream, OBS just doesn't want to see it again. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war cult. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen. You're making them like do that. Fever burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war cult will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. Stop I know being racist. they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. You know, I'm a future war cult member and I don't like what you're doing. The song of the people echoing through the city. Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No. That will come later. Unless I can stop it. Fascinating. Lashmi too expresses regret at her terse words towards Mithrax, racist words, but she seems more apologetic about her own behavior than the attack on the Elixni. She tells you uh, such an action was natural. Um, yeah, lame. Go talk to the Mithrax. Yep, all right, fine. Let's finish this. I have no words left to speak. Blocks me too. A saint. I do not know if I've reached them. In truth, I do not know if I even reach you. <sighs> the darkness of this night weighs on me more than any other. Know this. I will not stop fighting for those in this city. Even those who did this. The light through us all. We focus it through the prism of our will. Those who attacked us were blinded by fear, poisoned by venomous words. They were focused badly, bent badly. But they are not truly our enemy. Listen to this guy. We will not seek vengeance. We are not the monsters some believe us to be. This is great. I love Mithrax. the path of the light takes strength. That is what we will remember tonight. As fear and hunger gnaw at us. As our hatchlings sleep in ashes. And my heart's crushed. Alright, the attack on his people left Mithrax shaken and despondent. You can hear the frustration in his voice even through the servitor. Although he feels betrayed, he refuses to retaliate. He tells you he won't stop fighting to protect the very people who took up arms against his people. The light passed through us all, he says. 
We focus it through the prism of our will. Those who attacked us were blinded by fear, poisoned by venomous words, but they are not truly our enemies. He says it's not easy to walk the path of light, of forgiveness, but he and his people will walk it nevertheless. Quest completed. Artifact unlock one. That's cool. Crack. All right, let's clean this stuff up. and clear sweet one more artifact unlock left and that was this week's quest excellent that was excellent um sorry the camera stopped working um i'm gonna go now uh normally i'd go to the full screen cam and talk to you all but that looks like a disaster um i'll probably be back on in a little bit to play mass effect uh but i'm gonna take a break and uh you have a good day too embry i'll see you folks later uh thank you all for watching